Zoom is one of the most popular platforms for recording podcast interviews. That's because it's easy to use. You can download it for free and most of your guests are gonna be familiar with using it. What Zoom isn't the best at though is audio and video quality. There are certain settings that you can use that will greatly enhance the quality of your recordings though. Just note that if you have a bad microphone, it's not gonna make your microphone sound amazing. It's just about getting the best out of what setup you have. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna share with you a recording tip that will greatly increase the quality of your audio recordings without having to pay for another online recording service. So here we are in Zoom. You'll need the desktop version of Zoom to follow along with this. I'll leave a link in the description below in case you haven't downloaded that yet. So when you come into Zoom, you go to the top right, click on your initials, and then click on settings to bring up the settings window. And the first thing we're gonna look at for our audio settings, is we're gonna click on audio on the left, and you're gonna to wanna to check a couple of things on here. So first, make sure that the microphone that the microphone set to is actually the microphone you wanna record with. So as you can see here, this is actually set to my webcam microphone, and that's not the external microphone, the quality microphone that I've got connected. So you wanna click on this drop down and it's either gonna say the name of your microphone, so if you have, for example, a Samsung Q2U, it should say that, or it will just say USB microphone, or if you're plugged into an audio interface, it'll have the name of your audio interface, which for me is the focus right. So now that that's set to my actual microphone, um, you can actually see the input level's a little bit lower, but that's okay. Just make sure that your input level is sort of hovering in the, around the middle when you're talking normally. If it's pushing right up to the top, all the time, then it means your input level is too high and it could cause nasty distortion. And you can bring that down using this fader here, or you can just let it automatically adjust the microphone volume for you. But if it's constantly pushing up to the top, then I would bring it down a little bit. Or you can use the built-in volume control in your microphone. You might have a meter that tells you how loud things are coming through, especially if you've got an audio interface, just check that your recording level is not in the red. Then you also wanna make sure that you've got headphones connected. So these are my speakers, but it's actually going, it's actually my, got my headphones plugged in, it's going through the audio interface. But if, you've, if you don't have an audio interface, you're gonna to wanna to make sure it's set to whatever your headphones are listed as. So if they're plugged directly into your microphone, which some USB microphones have, then your speaker output is gonna to wanna to be your microphone as well. And this is gonna stop your microphone from picking up what's coming out of your speakers and you're gonna to wanna to ask your guest to wear headphones as well. Now that we've got our devices set up, let's take a look at these settings down here. So by default, you might have this, this checked, zoom background noise removal and this has some kind of AI automatic removal of certain low level noises, but it's not great, um, it's not great quality. And if you have an editor, they're not gonna want you to set this because they can probably do a better job of noise removal on their end. So you're gonna wanna set it to original sound for musicians, which is gonna give you a higher quality audio recording. Then as for these settings below, you're gonna wanna turn echo cancellation off because again, that causes a reduction in sound quality. And as long as you're both wearing headphones, you don't need to worry about any echo anyway. You're gonna to wanna to turn stereo audio off because it's just, you're just one person speaking. It doesn't need to be in stereo. And you can also turn on high fidelity music mode. Now this can slow down the connection, uh, the, the network connection. Um, so if you're having issues with, with, within your recordings, then you can turn that off. But just note that with original sound for musicians, you have to turn it on manually for each recording, for each interview that you have. And as you'll see on the screen now, in the top left there, you can see the original sound for musicians option. You just need to click that on before each recording. And then finally for audio, if we go into recording, you're gonna to wanna to ensure that record a separate audio file for each participant is turned on. This is going to give you one audio file for you, one audio file for your guest, which means when you're editing or for your editor, if you're speaking over each other or if somebody makes a noise on one end of the conversation, it can be easily edited out 
when this is unchecked, it's going to all be on one file and you won't be able to edit those out. In addition to these settings, it's important that you position yourself in front of the mic correctly. Normally, for most mics, this is going to be about a hand width from the microphone to your mouth and you're going to want to make sure you're in a room with as little noise, background noise as possible and ideally with some soft furnishings or acoustic panels as you'll see behind me to deaden the echo and reverb. If you head to claracast.com forward slash kickstart you can download my free ebook which goes more into detail on how to get the best recordings possible. Then while we're here we're also going to take a look at the video settings to get the best video recording as well. So the first thing to do which Again, a lot of my guests, uh, I have to point this out to them. If you uncheck display participant's name in the recording, it means you get a nice, clean, unobstructed view of the person. Otherwise, you've got this little tab that says the guest's name, and maybe you want this in, but just be aware that there is an option to remove it, and it does make the video look more clean. Then you're gonna wanna go up to the video settings in the top left there, and you'll see the webcam fee coming through. If you don't, just make sure that you've set to the uh, you've set camera to the right uh, the right camera. So make sure that it's not set to your inbuilt camera as well. If you've got a external webcam, you want to make sure that this HD option is checked on if it's available. And then these options they're kind of subjective. It's up to you. There's a touch up your appearance option which just kind of smooths things out. I think it looks a bit unnatural, so I don't use it. It looks like it's just given me a shave and then adjust for low light if you need this if your camera is particularly dark in low light you can manually adjust the brightness but this camera does pretty well in low light so we're going to leave that off and then you've got the option to mirror your video if it looks weird to you that it's sort of back to front but again that's more of a personal choice and now that that's set up just don't forget to click on original sound for musicians for each call that you make. And now I'm going to go over one re extra recording tip that's going to help you to get the best recordings possible. It's not within Zoom, um, it's just something to look out for even if you are recording into Zoom, I recommend doing this. So if you have a digital audio workstation on your computer or any kind of recording software like Audacity or GarageBand, or if you don't, you can download Audacity for free from audacityteam.org. I recommend loading it up for each recording you make on Zoom, making sure that if, when you click on audio setup that your microphone, your external microphone is set as the recording device and then hitting record as well as on Zoom. And this means that you're gonna get a local full quality recording of your audio. Also, it means that you've got a backup recording as well. You can ask your guests to do the same thing if they're comfortable. Otherwise, at least you have the full quality on your end. It just means that you need to line it up with your guests recording that Zoom spits out. And then if you go to file and export as WAV, as WAV then you're gonna get the highest quality without any kind of compression. Let me know in the comments section below if these settings helped with your Zoom podcast recordings and hit that like button. And also don't forget to subscribe for more podcast recording tips and guides. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.